What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's video we are going to have a go at recreating the cover for the music album Descend by Emil Rotmeyer. So Photoshop windows open at the ready please. Go to file and new. Set the width to 1000 and the height to 1000. Background transparent, click OK. Go to your gradient tool. Double click in the gradient thumbnail to open up the gradient editor. Choose a gradient with two colors. Left click on the first color stop. Double click on the color tab. Change to black. Click OK. Left click on the second stop at the far side. Click on color. Enter the color code 1A357B. Click OK. Click OK to close the gradient editor. Go to the top of your canvas. Hold Shift on your keyboard. Left click and drag your cursor down to the bottom side. Let go of your left mouse button at the bottom. Let go of Shift. Go to Edit, Preferences and Guides, Grid and Slices. For your grid setting, choose light grey as the colour, with the grid line every 220 pixels and 16 subdivisions. Click OK. Go to View, Show and Grid. Go back to View and ensure that Snap is selected. Go to your rectangular marquee tool. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer White Lines. With your rectangular marquee tool selected inside your new white lines layer, left click to one side, drag your mouse cursor down by one block, then drag your cursor to the opposite side of your canvas, ensuring that your selection is only in one block row. Hold shift and backspace, go to the use box and choose white. Click OK. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Press Ctrl and C to copy. If you're a Mac user, use Command instead of Ctrl and Option instead of Alt. Press Ctrl and V to paste. You should see a new layer appearing in your layer list. Go to your Move tool. Left click on the white line inside your new layer and drag down by two blocks. Repeat this process until you have four lines in total. Hold control and left click on each of your white line layers. Right click and merge layers. Rename white lines again as a reference. With your white lines layer still selected, press control and T on your keyboard. Drag your mouse cursor to one of the corners of the layer. Left click, hold your mouse button down. Drag anti-clockwise by 11 and a half degrees. You can also type the number in manually. With the white line still selected, left click on either side and drag your white lines off the canvas. Press enter. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Purple Circle. Go to your Gradient tool. For this particular gradient, for your first colour stop, the colour code you want is 753E8E. The location of the stop on your gradient line is 50%. Your second stop at 70% will be pink and the shade number is ca 51 a7. The third one will be white at location 100%. Click OK. Select the radial gradient setting. Go to the middle of your canvas in between the middle white lines. Hold shift on your keyboard, left click, drag your mouse to any of the sides let go of your mouse button, let go of shift. 
go to your blending options choose darken go to your shape tool and select the rectangle tool set white as your foreground color and black as your background color go to window and info using your info window ensure that the width and the height of your rectangle are appropriate as you draw it left click on your canvas and start drawing your rectangle ensure that your rectangle is roughly 19 wide and 21 high let go of your mouse button when you've drawn this hold control and press T rotate the rectangle anti-clockwise minus 11.5 degrees press enter on your keyboard press enter again right click on your shape layer and choose rasterize layer rename this layer background rectangle go to create a new layer select your gradient tool set the first color stop to 3656A9 the second color stop should be black go to the top of your canvas place your mouse cursor in line with one of your main grid lines left click drag your mouse down to the bottom of the canvas then drag it right to the next main grid line you should see now that this gradient line is parallel with the sides of your rectangle let go of your mouse button right click on your gradient layer and choose create clipping mask use your move tool to reposition your rectangle drag it upwards so that the white line layer in the background flows behind the middle section of the rectangle go to your ellipse tool ensure that white ground is still the foreground color hold shift left click in the middle of your canvas to draw a circle using your info window once more ensure that the width and the height are roughly 10 hold control and left click on your previous gradient layer and your background rectangle layer right click and merge these layers together rename this layer rectangle select your circle layer go to create a new layer select your gradient tool once more for the gradient for the circle your first color stop should be white your second color stop should be pink at a location of 25 percent the code is e15394 your third stop located at 75 percent will be purple the color code is 462394 and the final fourth color stop at the right end is 00001A circle left click hold your mouse button down drag your cursor to the top right corner of your circle let go on the circle edge right click on your gradient layer and choose create clipping mask hold control left click on the shape layer with the gradient layer already selected right click and merge these two layers together rename the layer circle go to your rectangle tool ensure that this rectangle is roughly 22.9 wide and 23.7 high rotate the rectangle anti-clockwise minus 42 degrees drag the rectangle into the middle of the canvas right click on the shape layer and rasterize layer go to your polygonal lasso tool left click once in the top corner of your rectangle drag your cursor down to the bottom corner left click here as well drag your mouse cursor up slightly away from the edge left click away from the right corner and left click around the outside dragging your cursor to where you first left clicked 
and left click once more to make a selection. This selection should include half of the shape. Press delete, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Using your move tool, drag the new triangle into position so that the left corner is almost touching the top line from the white lines layer and the top corner is covering the top right corner of the rectangle. You can now untick your grid by going to view, show and left clicking on grid. Rename this new layer triangle. Go to create a new layer. Select your gradient tool. For this new gradient, the left color stop should be set to black. The location 0%. The second color stop at 33% should be 2B1F7B. The third color stop at location 75% should be E756AA. And the final color stop should be white located at 100%. With your gradient tool selected and inside your new blank layer, left click, hold your mouse button down at the left corner of your triangle, drag your mouse cursor up to the top corner of your shape. Let go of your mouse cursor here, right click on your new gradient layer and select create clipping mask. Hold Ctrl, left click on triangle, ensure that the new gradient layer is selected also. Right click and merge layers. Rename this triangle. Drag your circle layer above your triangle layer. Using the move tool, ensure that the circle layer is moved towards the top left corner of your rectangle layer. Go to your text tool. For this particular font, I want Orata standard, medium, 60 point strong and white. Left click in your canvas and write a single letter for a name that you want displayed on this particular picture. After you've typed in the first letter, press tab and then type in the subsequent letter. Repeat this until you have the name that you want displayed. Right click on your text layer and choose rasterize type. Press Ctrl and T. Rotate clockwise 48 degrees. Press enter. Drag the name so it's just underneath the black line of your triangle. Open up your signature layer. Select the magic wand tool, left click in the white of the signature, hold in shift to select the dot above the eye. Press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy. Press Ctrl and V back in your project window. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard, hold shift and reduce the size of the signature by about 70%. Press enter. Use the move tool to drag the signature up to the top of your canvas. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.